Hey everyone, MJ here. In this video, we're going to be talking about why Fallout 4 is amazing. From the very start, when you leave Vault 111, Fallout 4 immerses you in its just stunning world with an amazing map, with amazing characters, with an amazing gunplay. Now, this is all for 2015. I'm counting this back in 2015. If you want to add mods to it, it's even better. You get mods in this bitch? Oh my god, this is like an easy 11 out of 10 game. Fallout 4's rich storytelling and just the unforgettable characters like the companions like Nick Valentine, like Piper, like Deacon, like Pound and Dance, like McCready, like Kate, all those other companions that you can get like Codsworth honestly like strong all of them honestly I could probably memorize every single companion like dog meat every single companion is memorable a lot of them have their own storylines and own quests a lot of them have great dialogue I it's Bethesda's best companions that they've ever done they're all complex individuals with their own unique personalities captivating backstories and making each interaction a memorable experience when they chime in or when they have their certain likes and dislikes in Fallout 4, the wasteland is a pretty dangerous place, but the game arms you with to the goddamn teeth with an impressive arsenal of weapons and armor, whether it's a laser rifle, pipe rifle, shotgun, combat shotgun, assault rifle, minigun, rocket launcher, fat man, so much power fist. I fucking love the power fist. There's so many awesome weapons, and they're every single one has several customization options or more. You can add a Merv modification to a Fat Man to make the Fat Man shoot several mini nukes. You can add so many different scopes to your pistols, to your rifles, to shotguns, everything about this game and everything that you pick up from a desk fan to a toaster to a ceramic cup can be used to customize your weapons. And it's fucking awesome. Along with the massive amounts of weapons that you have at your disposal, like the shotguns, like the rifles, like everything I said, there are also plenty of enemies to shoot, my guy. There are super mutants, raiders, gunners, robots, synths, synthetic humanoids that the Institute created, just so many different beasts like rad roaches, yao guais, death claws, rad scorpions, everything that you can think of in a post apocalyptic apocalyptic world it is here and is absolutely insane that bethesda put this much time and especially since they only had about 100 people making this game back in 2015 and how big their studio has grown since then if they had a, the studio of their size right now making a big fall game like this it would be even fucking bigger and it would be even fucking better but in fallout 4 you don't just survive it's not just about survival as well you can also thrive with the outpost building system the settlement building you can create your own fortified bases attracting new settlers through the posts and establishing your thriving community in that wasteland. You know, you can take a rundown neighborhood and turn it into this military fortress if you want. You can take a rundown castle that used to be a Minutemen fortress and you can really rebuild it. You can take the fucking Boston Airport. You can take a section of the Boston Airport under the Brotherhood Pridwin and just make it into like a forward operating base. There's so many possibilities in so many areas for settlements, especially in the DLC. There's a lot of spots that you can pick from, and honestly, Bethesda did a f just amazing job with the settlement building. And then going off of Fallout 4's world as well, just oh my god, the amount of locations, the just dense of the density of the locations is insane. There's so many vaults that you can actually explore in this game. I think there's about six to eight vaults in this game, all having their own lore, having their own backstory. A few of them are involved in companion quest lines, which is pretty cool. There's so many different kinds of hospitals and buildings. There's a fucking they have the Boston Public Library. They have the like, big areas, big landmarks in Boston are actually taken over by factions, which is also really cool, like the airport, like Bunker Hill, like Old North Church. A lot of spots in real life are taken up by um, factions, which just isn't wasted, obviously, on just like a raider section. Now, it wouldn't really be wasted, but it's honestly awesome. Bethesda peaked with this kind of exploration in their single-player games. I feel like Fallout 4's exploration is probably better than the most recent games, but still, honestly, it's just where they peaked, and I love it. The amount of customization that you can also do in Fallout 4, from the perk trees to all the special things that you can do to your character, honestly, it, it gets overwhelming at times. The amount of customization too on your armor and of protection and just honestly everything, it's overwhelming at first, but once you slowly get into it, and I mean, I'm probably speaking to the people who probably still haven't played Fallout 4, which realistically is probably going to be a low amount of people watching this video, but if you haven't played Fallout 4 yet, it gets overwhelming at first. I, I would say that straight up. But after 5-10 hours, you're going to get really eased into it. I'm not saying the first 5-10 hours are bad. I'm saying that it's overwhelming. They just throw a lot of stuff at you. You have to take it slow. And at some point in the game, it's just going to all click. And it's going to be so much fun for you. I would also argue that Fallout 4's main story is probably the 
best story that they have written other than Starfield's, their most recent game. I feel like Starfield's story is a bit better, but for the stakes, for the things that are at stake in Fallout 4, they're definitely the highest in this game. It involves the entire wasteland from all the factions, Minutemen, Brotherhood, Railroad, Institute, and everybody in the Commonwealth, honestly. It's just the highest stakes possible, and the story has so many plot twists, so many options, so much replayability, everything about it, honestly. There's just no ending to it. You, there's four different endings, plus there's actually more than four endings, funny enough. There's a bunch of combinations to the endings, too, of who you can save, of how companions will react, of how characters in general will react, of who you help, who you don't help, honestly. It's just Bethesda really pushed for an extreme, just amazing experience here, and they exceeded at it when they released this game nine years ago. For 2015 game and for the creation engine that Bethesda made the game on, I would say that these are also some pretty good graphics as well. Like the textures can sometimes be really bad and the pop in as well, like the rain, the field of view can also be bad. But like once, once it, when it's good, it's good, man. Like the, when the textures are just right, when they're sleek, when the art and the art style as well. Oh my god, the art style, holy shit. Bethesda, I don't know, they perfected the Fallout art style, I gotta be honest, they know how to make a Fallout game, a Fallout single player game, it's the 50s, 40s, 60s kind of, but with the post-apocalyptic, futuristic, just version of it, and honestly, I don't know, like, when Interplay made Fallout years ago, and then Bethesda made Fallout 3, they excelled at it, and then making Fallout 4, they even took, they took it even further, and they made it even better, and I have to commend them for that, because Bethesda just doesn't miss when it comes to these Fallout single-player games. Overall, that's all I have to say about why Fallout 4 is amazing, I have really nothing else to add, the game is just awesome, honestly. If you haven't played it, or you're thinking about playing it, it's a 9-year-old game, if you are going to play it, I would recommend heavily playing with mods. On console or PC, console has its own dedicated mods, even just the simple ones, like just fixing bugs, better lighting, you know, maybe some cool guns, maybe get, like, if you just want to play through the story, like, there's a cheat terminal mod where you can load up a holotape into your Pip-Boy and you can just, like, make yourself a god mode, one-shot enemies, I love playing with that mod personally, but if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, subscribe if you also choose to, and I will see you all in the next video.